thought I'd <clears throat> share this little bit about the lawn. I, I told um, Texas Prepper 2 I wanted to make this comment on the, the use and the benefits of adding mulch to your soil just for, if nothing else, the organic matter. But he was talking about his back to Eden Garden, how the runoff from it was so beneficial. Not even just the mulch itself, but the runoff. So I wanted to share this with you all. <clears throat> this is just my backyard. I've got a little apple tree planted here. But the grass right here all summer long, despite any sort of watering, anything that I would have normally done, has been really lush, really green, looks really good. If we go just a little to the left here where my dog's standing, it all used to look like this. It all was just like that. As far as just crappy, burnout, well, I'll take that back. It's been like that since summer 2011 when we had the real bad drought. Because, you know, it used to all be a nice, even sort of grass like that over there, or better grass anyway. Well, after the drought, I had three great big pine trees that stood right, you know, somewhere in here where my raised beds are now, and I had those removed. And when I did, they came out and they ground the stumps, and I said, don't haul off the mulch, and they, I had them just back drag the mulch right here across the yard. And so right here, where the grass grows so lush and green and looks good, that was basically the extent of where they back dragged the mulch. So you can see, you know, when they first did it, it looked like crap out here. My yard was just a chopped up, rutted up, mulchy mess, but I haven't done anything with it since. I don't fertilize my yard. I don't make any special effort to water my yard, none of that. And I was thinking that it was runoff from the garden, but then I thought my garden actually slopes parallel to the length of the beds here. So it slopes towards the fence. It doesn't slope out this direction. And I haven't put any fertilizer on this apple tree. It's just purely whatever it gets, it gets. And so this is all, I mean, the only thing I can attribute this really lush grass right here to and nowhere else is the fact that all that mulch, all that shredded uh, pine stumps has rotted down in the soil now, so I've got more organic matter, I've got more uh, moisture holding matter, it's just better soil. Now the, the black spot here is kind of an outlier, that's some really, really old wax, because this is where I pile up my beeswax whenever I do bee removals and let them rot it out. But still you can see the, you know, it's real sparse and thin and nasty over there. It's not because of standing water, because water only stands there for maybe 12 hours after we get a heavy rain. We just had about a half an inch here an hour or so ago. But all through here, you know, it's real, crappy and just kind of up into there. It's, it looks a little bit better in there, but that's some sort of weird grass. I don't even know what that is. It's not even red grass I recognize. Maybe it's Bermuda, but I don't think so. But all through there, it's just not good looking grass, you know? So I told him I'd share this just as another kind of reinforcement to his theory. Um, the reason it looks dead right there is because <clears throat> I mowed out here a couple weeks ago because it got so hot, so tall, and then I raked it up and had a pile of grass clippings there. So yeah, The birds. The ones on the deck. Okay, we'll get her some. Okay. Okay. We'll get her some. There you go. There's my wife interrupting like usual. Y'all got to hear a little conversation. Apparently our daughter wants some boots. So anyway... Yeah, so this is where I had a pile of grass clippings that I didn't pick up, so they kind of killed the grass there. But when you look just out through here, how, how thick and lush that is. And all summer long, I've had to pay extra attention to kind of keep this mowed down because it was growing so much faster and so much better than anything else. Um, just a quick little tour of my garden for what it's worth. There's what's left of the tomato beast. It hasn't set any fruit for the last couple months, but I keep forgetting to rip it out. It actually looks really good right now. It's got all sorts of suckers coming off. I told myself, you know, two months ago I was going to, cut the suckers and pot them up and then transplant them and have new tomato plants and I just never did. Um, and I think now if I try to put them in it'll probably be too late. But I don't know, we might not get frost for another month and a half, so we'd see. This is all sweet potatoes. You can see they've completely taken over this bed. I've got my asparagus fern there. Uh, I actually cut off a little piece of asparagus the other night for the first time and it was awesome. It was the best asparagus I've ever eaten. I might actually go cut, I see another good spear coming up. I might go get some and give me some of that. I've got uh, a little bush snap beans right in there with some cucumbers kind of growing together in a mess. There's a butternut squash over yonder and then I've got a bunch of blackberries on the ends that have tipped and rooted in the garden. I've got to dig those up this fall and transplant them or this winter. And you see my sweet potatoes, they're growing up the fence there. The sweet potato vines have taken over even this tomato cages. And actually something else interesting, I don't know if you guys can see it or not, right out through here in front of me, there's dragon, whoop, there goes one, there's dragonflies zipping around. 
And that's funny because people have talked about dragonflies will uh, prey on mosquitoes. And now I'm seeing, I'm out here, you know, we just had this rain, it's kind of humid, it's a little bit warmer than it has been the last couple of days, so I guess the mosquitoes are out, well, so are the dragonflies. So that's pretty cool, that makes me happy. I've never, I've never noticed the dragonflies out here before. Um, <clears throat> anyway, we'll walk over here in the garden and see. I gotta be careful because I'm still in my good work clothes. I don't wanna get messy. But oh boy, look at this. Look at that. That one already is a little bit big for my taste, but this one right here, that is a good plump asparagus. They say you're not supposed to cut them in the, oh. I didn't even have to try. Man, that thing, it's like it wanted to be cut off. It jumped on my knife blade. Oh, this is gonna be worse than Texas Prepper eating his blackberries. Oh yeah, that's good. I make sure and smack my jaws as much as I can so y'all know what you're missing. Got some jalapeno peppers and uh, bell peppers that have fallen over there. Jalapeno peppers there through the crepe myrtle that are just growing like crazy, putting on fruit. You know, this whole video is going to turn into, it was just a share of the garden, or share the, uh, yeah, screw it.